IoT is all about solving real-world problems and improving efficiencies by using the right technology. When creating an IoT application, there are several factors to consider, including low-power wide-area network connectivity. The two most utilized LP1s are LoRaWAN and NB-IoT. Let's take a look at side-by-side -side comparisons of these two connectivity options. Number one, ecosystem. LoRaWAN is supported by the LoRa Alliance, an open nonprofit association, and is recognized as an LP1 standard by the International Telecommunication Union. NBIOT is supported by the Third Generation Partnership Project and GSMA. Number two, Spectrum. LoRaWAN is optimized for ultra low power and long range applications. The network operates on a Spectrum network, which is free to access for both network operators and device manufacturers. NB-IoT was also developed for long-range communication between devices and the cloud, but is optimized primarily for spectrum efficiency. This type of connectivity utilizes a cellular infrastructure compatible with LTE mobile networks that require licensing fees. Number three, deployment status. LoRaWAN is deployed in 177 countries, while NB-IoT has been deployed in approximately 64 countries. Number four, deployment options. LoRaWAN can be installed in public, private, or hybrid networks, indoors or outdoors. Its signals can penetrate deep in urban installations and can cover up to 30 miles per gateway in rural environments. Since NB-IoT utilizes a fixed LTE cellular infrastructure, the networks are limited to outdoor public networks and available only where 4G LTE cellular towers are located. Number five, protocol. With LoRaWAN, the protocol allows data to be sent only when necessary. This extends battery life of sensor devices in the field by as much as 10 years, keeping battery replacement costs low. NB-IoT maintains a synchronous connection to the cellular network, even if there isn't any data to send. This consumes considerable battery life for sensor devices, resulting in high battery replacement costs. Number six, transmit current. Modulation differences allow LoRaWAN to be supported by very low-cost batteries, including coin cells. NB-IoT sensors require more power to operate and need more frequent battery replacements or larger batteries. Number seven, receive current. LoRaWAN provides lower sensor bill of material costs, a longer battery life for remote sensors. A receive current of under five milliampers means LoRaWAN operates at three to five times lower power overall. NB-IoT operates a receive current at 40 milliampers. Communication between cell network and device consumes over 110 milliampers on average, lasting tens of seconds at a time. Number eight, data rates. The protocol for LoRaWAN adapts data rate dynamically, depending on how far the sensor is from the gateway, optimizing time on air of the signal and reducing collisions. NB-IoT is better suited for higher data rate use cases with a higher power budget. Number nine, link budget. The MCL signal of LoRaWAN varies depending on regional regulatory limits. NB-IoT requires significant repetition for remote sensors at a low bit rate to be able to support remote sensors. Number 10, mobility. LoRaWAN can support mobile sensors and track them as assets move from one location to another. This can be done even without GPS, with good enough accuracy for most applications. NB-IoT is limited to idle mode cell reselection today, which is not well optimized for mobile asset tracking. As you can see, LoRaWAN offers state-of-the-art battery life and significant long-range wide area network advantages. Are you interested in utilizing Semtech's LoRa devices and the LoRaWAN standard in your IoT application? Learn more at our website, semtech.com.